iOS 8 brings changes both large and small to Apple's mobile OS. If you're struggling to keep on top of everything that's new, then don't fret, because we've compiled a list of the top 10 iOS 8 features you need to know about. Instead of forcing you to leave the app you're in, interactive notifications in iOS 8 now allow you to check and reply to messages without exiting the app. A quick swipe displays your options, accept and decline for calendar notifications, a text entry field for SMS messages, and so on. Spotlight Search is taking on a more Siri-like flavour, meaning in addition to just searching the contents of your phone, it can also look for points of interest, search the App Store, iTunes, cinema listings, and anything else you could be looking for. Now when a text is sent to you, you'll be able to view and reply to it on both your iPad and Mac as well. Group notifications have been given a major update, allowing you to add and remove people from active conversations, share your location, see images and attachments in the thread, and best of all, turn on Do Not Disturb if things get too chatty. One of the most interesting new features is inline voice and video messaging, which lets you send a quick voice or video clip that self-destructs Snapchat style at a time you choose. Saying, hey Siri will now activate Apple's voice assistant, it also boasts Shazam support and gets 22 new dictation languages as well. Thank you. Family sharing enables you to share your iTunes buys and other media with up to six family members and comes with a merciful option to send you an alert if the kids try to spend half your wages on in-game purchases. And while we're on the subject of sharing, AirDrop now works between iOS devices and Macs. It's not called Healthbook and there's still no sign of the iWatch, but the rumoured health application is pretty much what we expected. A way for third-party devices such as fuel bands to share health data with your iOS device. Apple promises that it will carefully protect your privacy, so apps will only be able to access health data you give them explicit permission to use. Hopefully, this one will attract more third-party support than Passbook did. If this is as good as it looks, it's going to be amazing. With continuity, your iOS device and Macs know where they are and what you're doing, and you can hand over from one to the other. For example, you can start writing an email on your iPhone and finish it on your Mac, or view a web page you've been looking at on Mac Safari and see it on your iPad. In a really nice touch, you can even use your Mac as a speakerphone for your iPhone. We've seen predictive typing on other platforms, of course, but Apple's version is context-aware. This means if you're replying to a message suggesting dinner or a movie, your typing suggestions will include dinner and movie. iOS 8 will, also at long last, support third-party keyboards. Mail gets a few new gestures that make sorting through emails that much easier. You can mark as unread, delete and flag messages with just a swipe of the finger. If you want to refer to other messages while you're composing mail, you can swipe down to browse your email and then swipe back up to continue writing. The new HomeKit API is designed to make iOS the hub for all kinds of smart home equipment. Instead of multiple apps doing their own thing, Apple has created a platform for locks, lights, cameras, doors, thermostats, plugs and switches that groups devices together and controls them via Siri. So telling Siri, ready for bed, would turn off the lights and heating, arm the alarm and kill the TV. If HomeKit is widely supported, it could turn out to be a very big deal indeed. For more on iOS 8, check out the links below and subscribe to techradar.com.